Now I'm going to be time, but we simply call an F fly image. Uh, it's quite a sparse dress. Who can we use? And this is a size 10, it's a B160, uh, which is a short shank. It's a wide gape hook, so size 12 shank with a size 10 gape. Thread, I'm just going to use the uni thread 80 in black. I'm just going to work my way down. Put a layer of thread on the shank and just slightly around the bend, just come to this point here, and then remove the base piece. Now, the rib of the fly is a, a medium orange roller graphic tinsel. Now, as I say, you could use pearl, you could use clear, it's entirely up to yourself. Now, this is the, the holographic tinsel I'm using. You see, it's hot orange. Now, you're only needing about three turns. This is a medium, as I say. Just catch it. Okay, so, in this case, this is some black, dyed black seals for. Now, pin it on quite loose, not tight, because I want the, the rib to sit or sink into it. So, as you come up, you just lightly twist to get it to, to stay on the thread and work your way up. Now you want to stop about two thirds of the way up the, the shank or to, from that point and then remove the base piece or the excess as you see. You trim it away. Now to protect the holographic tinsel I'm just going to on the side it's going to touch the hook just rub some super glue on it and then wind up as I say the third turn, across your thread, and then trim away with two, after two or three turns. Now I've got some, this is wing and flash here in red, just a few fibres, this is just for a, like a thorax. Don't need a lot, just lightly dub it onto the thread, so you don't need a lot. There you go. Now for the legs, you could tie the knot or knot the legs with pheasant tail. Now I'm going to use a mix of black, you can either have just black itself, or just red, or a mix of both. A mix of both usually works. Now I've got four black here, put two down either side. And don't have them too long, don't make them too long. Uh, just that's about right there. Just catch two either sides, I say. You can put them on individually, it's up to you. Just get them to sort of hug, hug the sides. And then, usually just a couple of reds enough. So again, just going to put one either side. Same length. Two or three turns to hold. Yeah, to sit where you want. Just I usually just take them forward and press. And that allows them to sit along the side of the, the hook. We've got wax here, just need to tidy up this area. Make sure they're tied in. And then get yourself maybe if I fly this size, they're looking at least four. CDC feathers, medium to large. Depends for the many you've got. If you just get small, then just maybe half a dozen small feathers will keep it up. Now all I'm doing here is just lining well, all up tips, the natural curve. Do you want it to the back of the hook? There you go. And trim. Put a wax on your thread at this point because the stems of the CDC feathers are actually quite thick, so you've got to be really tight with them. See how that's in. Oh, that's all right. Now you could wind a hackle through this area, which again is worth doing because it'll help keep the fly up. But what I'm going to do here is just put so on some more black and dye black seals for. I'm going to put it on quite light. Just roll it onto the thread. Spin it on anyway. 
and then I'm just going to push it in itself, make it more into a ball. And then I'm going to wind it, make sure it stays on the thread. Now this is loose, which is intentional. And then I'm bringing the thread up and back down, coming through it, just as I come towards the eye, just lightly stroke it back, take it back, bring the thread to the front. Just ignore things at this point and get some varnish. Just rub it onto your thread. Keep the thread always tight. Never let it go. And then whip finish. If you let your thread go, it will throw one or two slack turns back into the, the tine. And you don't want that. Tighten it up. And then trim. Basically that's it now. What I'm going to do is hold the legs and the wing and then I'm going to use some velcro to bring out the seals for now it is loose meaning you've got turns through it but what you're going to do is bring some of these out which will give the impression of the legs because this is like a seals for hackle if you want to call it and it gives a lovely impression without adding too much bulk to the fly and there we are. You see, you can change the body colour, you can change that to pearl. Again, it works really well. But it's, it's a rough, small F fly. And these are the type of flies that times just outfish other patterns that's maybe just a wee bit more or heavier dressed. <laughs>